it's Shelly from Best Buy's Plug-In Blog, and this week we're testing out the KitchenAid Stand Mixer Mixer Attachment Pack 1. The Mixer Attachment Pack 1 comes with three different KitchenAid attachments. You get a KitchenAid um, Roto sh Slicer and Shredder, so that will slice um, zucchini, cucumbers, um, carrots, um, any kind of vegetable that you would like sliced up. The Roto Shredder will do that. It comes with the KitchenAid Food Grinder, which I've already tested out on its own, and you can place in chunks of steak um, or just a roast beef or something and push them through with spices and come out with um, ground beef. And it also comes with the attachment to strain um, fruits and vegetables. So if you're trying to make a peach puree, maybe you're making baby food, or you want to make applesauce um, for your family, you can easily do that with this KitchenAid attachment. Taking a close-up look at the attachments, um, you can see here that there are different um, roto slicers that come with the roto slicer attachment. Um, so it can slice up thin um, slices of cucumber or carrot, or it can shred it outright if you're going to use it in carrot cake. Um, I've shredded mine outright uh, for a carrot cake, so I'll show you that in a minute. Um, this is the food grinder, and the food grinder has two plates. These plates will grind um, coarse or fine. So depending on what you're trying to do, I've ground up hamburger meat with mine and I added um, garlic and onion right to the um, mixture and it came out great. Um, and this is the holder for your fruit. So it attaches to the, the meat grinder uh, via this cone and the fruit is strained and mashed into a pulp and it comes and sits in here. The first attachment I'm going to show you out of the KitchenAid Mixer Pack 1 is the fruit strainer. Um, as you can see I've attached it to my mixer but I'll show, take it off and just quickly show you how uh, easy it is to pop off and on. There is a bolt in there that attaches into your mixer so it slides easily in. You just tighten the screw This is the cone that um, will, through the fruit tray, it will push the fruit and it will come out here and it will be caught with this sieve and it will come straight out into my bowl. You can see it at work there and so now I've got some apples already sliced up. You have to use sliced fruit and I'm going to put them in one at a time. So I'm just going to push the apples through. You can hear it start working a little bit harder. And as the um, strained fruit comes out, it also um, ejects pulp from the side. fruit straining or you know making tomato paste or apple juice and sauce all you have to do is remove the pieces of the KitchenAid strainer and most of this can go in the dishwasher so this can go in the dishwasher um, this part the part that actually strains the uh, fruit cannot go in the dishwasher so you're gonna have to wash that by hand but everything else is good to go in the dishwasher right away the cool thing about the KitchenAid mixer attachments one is that this, if you go from straining fruit to grinding meat, it's as easy as just cleaning this up and popping it back on and you're good to go. All you have to do um, to get this to work is switch out the internal mechanism. So there's a bolt in there. You have to give it a little push and it pops out. Give it a rinse. I'll just show you really quick how this works. Pop the Food, uh, meat grinder attachment back in. There's a plate that is that helps you cut your meat. Or it does cut your meat. You pop that back on. It fits on the front. And then you choose your grinding plate. Um, so you can use the coarse grinding plate and you pop that on there. And then just tighten the attachment 
and you're good to go again. As you can see, it was pretty easy to use the KitchenAid food grinder to grind up um, hamburger meat. And uh, when you're going to clean this, it's the same deal. All you have to do is pop it off, take off the grind plate. The grind plate and the metal blade inside are not dishwasher safe. You have to hand wash those. Other than that, everything else can just pop straight into the dishwasher and it comes out clean. Okay, so we're moving on right now to the third attachment in the Mixer Pack 1, and that is the Roto Slicer. I find this to be the handiest attachment because I like to make salad, and um, I like to shred carrots and make homemade um, carrot cake, so this comes in really in handy. So all I did was attach the same way, but it pulls right out, comes off and on, very easy to use. You just tighten the screw back and decide which of the cones you're going to use to shred. Um, today I'm using one of the finer cones to shred carrots, so I'm gonna show you how I did that. was to shred carrots with for my carrot cake and um, then when you want to clean up all you have to do is take it back off pops off pop the cone out these are uh, dishwasher safe as well but you know what I would wash them by hand just to avoid any rust spots or anything give them a good dry and pop them away until you're ready to use it again this is a uh, dishwasher safe item as well just like most of the KitchenAid attachments. So that's my review for KitchenAid Mixer Pack 1. I found them all really easy to use. They're very handy gadgets to have in the kitchen. If you'd like to read my full review you can visit Best Buy's plug-in blog. Please take a look at all of my other KitchenAid attachment reviews too. Thanks for watching!